This week's War for Chips, it's not a 10-minute factory tour. I have travelled far and wide, well, definitely far. I'm at Jim Top 2022 in Tokyo, Japan. Jet lag is kicking in. I was washing all sorts of things this morning at 4 o'clock in their fantastic automated washing machine. But more importantly, I'm going to Citizen Machinery Stand to find out some of their latest technology. This week's War for Chips. This week's Wolf for Chips, I know we like a 10 minute factory tour. The eagle eyed amongst us will know it's not a factory tour. We're actually at the citizen stand and we've already concluded Jim Toff 2022. So let's go and see some of their technology, which is absolutely amazing. But I'm absolutely blown away. This is the first day, first morning. This place is absolutely heaving. So we might have to get a bit elbowy. Oh, we had someone lurking in the background. Hold on, we really need to say hello to this gentleman. Mr. Gunn, how the devil are you? How are we doing, Garland? Well, I'm trying to do a swarf of chips, so I'm going to have to get, get you out of here for a minute. Or would you like to learn about some new technology? I'm always willing to learn about new technology. All right, so our special guest, where have you come from? All over the world. I don't even think I have a home anymore at this point. <laughs> the t MTD hobo. <laughs> hobo, that's a key word, I think, at this point. Oh, where, where's your mask? It's right here. But I don't do masks while doing filming. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the law plate. Right, come on, let's go find out some technology. Come on, let me, let me educate Tony. Come on, Tony. Yeah. So, new machine for Citizen. We have to go to get a bit, bit elbowy here. In here, ANX 42 SYY, twin spindle, twin turret, 42 mil. It sits nicely in the market. So, from the th below, up from the 30, but below the 50, obviously, 42 mil. How are you? Even the, even the uh, well, we won't be rude about anybody. So, but in this machine, you can see tail stock in there just above the turret. So what they could do is they can actually machine longer parts up to, correct me if I'm wrong, up to 350 mil. So you can get some big parts. What they're also doing on this machine, the LFV technology, which is going to be, we'll see that on all the, pretty much all the machines around on this stand. LFV, basically, birds nesting is a thing of the past. Process security, better tool life, and better surface finish. So let's have a look. So they've got the parts catcher here. They're actually machining this part here. I won't go through everything, but a nice little feature of it. Fairly long part, more than, I'd say more than three times D. So in terms of your fit, well, probably not on this one, but fixed head, two and a half D, they can go a lot longer on this. In here though, cross drilling, they've got a chamfering tool, so it's interpolating in there. So nice little tricky bit of work there. Long parts catcher, automation. You're gonna get this the vibe here, automation on a lot of these machines. So taking it from the machine, um, blowing it, measuring it, packing it there you go so from bar to finished component ready to go ready to be shipped let's have a look at the next one excuse me I'm gonna have to go barge people out of the way and you know I've never been rude say no more we've got in here and Davo's going to, have to look over the top the RL03 so it's a newer version of one of their previous machines I can't remember exactly what it's called so gantry loading small parts come around come around here and it's got aerosol sort of mist in terms of your, your lubricant so it's spraying on rather than flooding it on so it's saving oh we're about to clobber somebody with the camera there but it's saving a lot of that I think it's about 60 70 percent but correct again correct me if I'm wrong I'm gonna have to barge in front well I won't barge actually I'm not that, I'm not that rude I will actually excuse me gentlemen so this machine is taking billets or near um, near ready parts of castings different um, scenarios. So you've got twin pallet there, you can have multi pallet or you can have round drums picking everything up. The gantry itself super fast, the machine again super fast but super accurate. We're talking sub micron, sub five micron accuracy. The key to what this do is it do what this does, LFE technology but combining it with an aerosol spray you can make a component like this. Now I'm testing my cameraman here, Davo. Come on Davo, work it hard. So you've got the billet, they've machined it. Here it's a one mil hole six mil deep but they'll do that in one hit which is normally pretty tricky just with your full cool or your lubricant coming straight in but because it's misted and with the lfe straight in straight out one hit nice bit of machining pop that back there don't want to get done for nicking stuff again anyway oh, it's getting warm in here i tell you it was just excitement of being on that seeing all these machines bna 42 sy there you go i got that right i should know this so Twin spindle, single turret, but again with the LFV, so essentially birds nesting is a thing of the past. Come on, back here, Davo. Birds nesting, we don't like that, we like nice chips. So we've got that going in here. A great example of components you can make here. So they've actually got the LFV working on the radiuses here. 
So making that and getting that nice surface finish made nice and simple with this machine. So again, process security. I want to be loading these machines up and running them 24 seven. Right, let's get rid of that. There you go, Dave, all, all on the shirt. I wouldn't do that to the guy. Yeah, I would. Right, Dave, look, come and look at this next machine. L20 from memory. Oh, there's a bit of a space, so quick, let's get in there, let's get in there. L20, Type 12, again, LFB, what more can we say? In here, though, you've got some great new technology at the back. ATC, can't, we might see it if we're lucky. But 12, uh, 12 station, so good for sister tooling, or if you want to do different, um, different setups. And then here, they've got the U35J parts, um, not catcher, but parts mover. So that's slightly upgraded there or, or amended. So then it can load it into a bit more automation. The cobot going on here now. Cobot picking the part. It's washing it, blowing it, measuring it, and packing it. So there you have it. Again, bar all the way through to a finished component. No manual intervention. That's what we want. 24/7 machining. Next machine. Oh, can you? Uh, thank you very much. Now this one. Actually, Dave, I'm going to annoy you now. A lot. Of, sorry about this, guys, but key thing on this machine, on what they're doing at Citizen, it is becoming eco-friendly. So we mentioned about the aerosol over there, the sprayer, but here, let me just get this right if I can work it without breaking it. Eco two. So essentially, press that, and I'm fluent in Japanese. There you go. Now this is when the original process of machining the part, but they've streamlined it, upgraded, it, improved it. So it was 106 watts. It's now 95. So they've actually reduced the power consumption by, by my great mass, 10%. So that's just what they look to do. More eco-friendly, saving power in this environment. Now here, we might be able to get Davo in if we could barge these guys out of the way. If you come around here, Davo. Oh, no, they've moved out for us. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Arigato, as they say in Japan. I'm good at this language. Quick change of CITS, CITS, CITS. Citizen Innovation Tooling Solution, basically quick change system. We'll go around the corner and see it in a minute. But this machine is also making these parts. In fact, we're going to be using, just in the back there, if you can get that, Dave, those tools. If you can see those, zoom. That's it. How's that for great camera work? Yep. Super out of focus. Well done, Dave. Doing a great job. He's, he'll be there in a second. But while he's doing that, I'll get a part ready. In fact, you can get it on here if you want, if that's easier. But essentially, they're machining this part. So there, you can actually see it's an oval shape, tapered, so nice and easy machine, maybe not, and then a cam on there, but you've got your gear on there. Now, you don't need a gear hobbing device because I've got these tools on here which are going into that machine, so maybe it's easy for Davo there. So that's that machine, so your CI, Citizen Innovation Tooling so Solution System. Make, make sure I get that right. Right, next one. I see we've lost Tony. He, didn't, he couldn't keep up, could he? But here is the tooling system. This gentleman's just doing it. Hi. No, it's like, could you just get that? Could you just change it? Look at this. We put him under pressure. Nice and simple. In and out. A couple of seconds. There you go. How simple is that? And you've got on there, Arigato, and that's on the polygon. So you're getting that extra rigidity and stiffness so you, you, you can hit some really tough materials. Arigato, again, see, look at that. I've got this, I've got this going, down, off pat. Anyway, I wonder if we can get in here and see this component. I haven't actually re reviewed this machine, but I don't know if we could get it, but they're making a tiny, tiny part here with a little spigot on it. In fact, if we can go around here, you can see the actual the part here, but then if you can actually see the size of it down here, please, Davo. It's absolutely tiny, so. Really impressive machine in there. But Davo, that's all I know about that machine, I'm afraid. Next thing though, come over here. Now, this is super impressive. I had a part prepared earlier. Someone's only gone and nicked it. Can you believe that? That is what happens. Not live TV, but we were trying to do a swarf in one hit. Anyway, L32, Type 8, LFB, as you'd expect. How do you get three parts, three parts into one? Well, what you do is you machine the first part, you then friction, oh, then you take that sub spindle, you then machine the second part and then you friction weld them together, then you machine the third part, friction weld it together, and you end up with the finished component just there in the middle. Impressive stuff. So that's one thing this machine does. The second one, it's all about saving remnants. So with a slider, remnants normally gonna be 250, 300 mil long. Now prices are going through the roof, especially for the exotic materials. You wanna save money. How do you do that? Well, what you do is you get your remnant and then you friction weld it onto the bar coming through. So you can use that, so you're basically extending the bar 
You've got a little bit of weld there. You can use all that remnant now, or pretty much 60, 70% of it, even 80%, utilizing all that material. So you're only losing about 20, 30% saving costs. Absolutely fantastic. Come on, Dave, I keep up. What machines have got left to do? Come on, help me now, help me now. And again, just look how busy this is. This is the first morning of the first day. Absolutely amazing. I do feel a little bit underdressed as well, but hey ho, that's just the way we roll. Right, M32, Type 8, LFB, they're absolute flagship machine now. I don't know if we can get through into there. But what we've got here, tricky component. These gentlemen are gonna move out of the way. No, they're not. They are, I think they're doing it. But in this machine, you've got a huge working envelope, really big, so you can get in there, make some complex parts. Three different tool areas with a B axis going on and a turret which gives you loads more complexity in terms of machining. But easy to, easy to actually program, which is key to what these machines are all about. And you probably can't see it, well you can't see it right now. In there, they've actually got probing in there, so you can, so the machine, you can probe and then you can adjust the machine the way it's working to make sure all your components are done super accurate 24 seven. Again, keeping the machine running. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's quite hot here, it really is. More automation here. As you see, key, so two, I mean, two key things I think we're getting from this is A, being eco-friendly. We need to see that gadget quite quick. How's that? Get, see the gadget moving? Dave, you're a bit too slow for it, weren't you? No, that's it. How's that for timing? No, no, here we go, here we go. It's got to go, it's got to go. There you go. How's that for impressive? Anyway, we haven't really reviewed that machine, but, oh, there you go. Next, moving on. Oh. The final one, absolute beast of machine, the Miano ABX 64 SYY, very quickly, cover it off. So 64, 64 mil bar, easy. Uh, two spindles, two Y axis, so get yourself in there, look at that, that is a beast of a machine. Huge power coming through the spindles, huge power through 12 station turrets, both top and bottom, but you can double up, trip up, even four tools per station. So by my simple maths, 48, it might be a bit pushing it 48 tools per turret, but a lot of tooling going on there and taking big depths of cut. Now also you've got here, big single casting with your coolant in there to keep it thermal displacement. So you're getting that rigidity, um, extra tool life, big depths of cut, which is what you want and complex parts. I mean, look at this. There you go. Now the eagle eyed among you will say either Colin's got a very small hand or that's bigger than 64 mil and Last but not least, on at the Citizen Stand is the big reveal. They've gone from 64, they've got an expansion kit to a mighty 80 mil diameter or bar. So you make it some big components, super tricky. So there you have it. I'm out of breath, I'm super hot, I'm underdressed. What can you expect? No more from Colin at Jim Toff 2022 on the Citizen Stand. Hope you've enjoyed my 10 minute, not factory tour, exhibition tour.